What's the reason that Am Yisrael could sin and to ignore from Hashem Yidbarach so much even after they saw so many miracles? The miracles that the person remembers is only miracles that he received them by davening. If someone, if now Kadosh Baruch Hu just made a miracle in your life, so you're going to be thankful, you're going to say, all right, thank you Hashem, but you're going to forget that. But if it's something that you worked on, that you davened on that thing for a long time, and then you received it, this is something that you're going to remember. On that it said, Yagata Matsata Tamin. You put an effort and then you found, then you're going to believe. Am Israel, they saw a lot, a lot of miracles, but those miracles didn't um, change their mind to go with Hashem it Barach forever. But only after the Galut, only after this 2,000 more years of exile, only now we're actually capable of holding Hashem it Barach and not to leave Him anymore. Why? Because now, this is the only time, after so many troubles, so many sufferings, the Tam Israel are capable to hold that weapon of davening and to serve Hashem Yitbarach with it. To daven and to daven and to daven and to daven. <coughs> only now, only now, we're so low, we're so humble, that we can really realize that we need to daven to Hashem Yitbarach. I told you that people, even tzaddikim, that are learning Torah in Mesirut Nefesh for years after years and generations, or mash, always, they were serving Hashem Yitbarach in Mesirut Nefesh. If it's just by the Torah Kedosha, so even if now HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to help them in something, they're going to have a side to say that it's because of their good actions. Because on Limud Torah, it's a mitzvah. But on Tefillah, when a person is davening, even if you're going to do six hours of Yitbodedut, after you're going out from the field, after doing six hours with Bodhidut, you're going to feel empty. You're going to say, what am I doing with myself? Six hours, this is six hours. A real six hours, it's when you're coming out from the field and you feel like you haven't done nothing. You're saying to yourself, what am I doing here? I was just wasting my time talking and talking. And Shem hears me, doesn't hear me. This is a proof that your six hour worked. This is a proof that, yes, because you came out humble from the field. Temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks.